All right, you guys, what is going on? And welcome back to the final 2020 NFL Scouting Combine video of the day. My name is Jacob. I come to you as a rugby fan and a rugby player, an ex-rugby player. I haven't played in about a year. A lot of, you know, I guess my, my biggest haters on this channel would, would say and enjoy saying, well, you're not actually playing right now, so you can't call yourself a rugby player. But you know what? I'll meet you down at the field one-on-one. -on -one. And let's see who can play. Anyways, guys, let's let's continue. The biggest risers and fallers following the 2020 NFL Scouting Combine. This is the perfect video to finish because after this, I'm actually going to go and have some lunch. And then I'm going to come and sit back down and crack into the 2020 draft, which happened just this previous weekend. I can't wait. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. If you're not, let's let's try and cheer that up a bit and uh, and watch this video. Let's go. I've been up and working till the morning, yeah. Morning. Yeah, they've been sleeping now. I swear they storming, yeah. Storming. Yeah, and I swear I'm cooking like I'm forming, forming. Uh, and my forming jumping like it's Jordan on like my way. Broom, broom, tell them I'm my lane. I've been praying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. gotta say this thing. I'm the same. I don't need another person telling me. Stock up, stock down with the 2020 prospects that stood out. Lance, we're going to talk about the guys that you had a little opinion on. So let's start with Jake Fromm. So Jake Fromm, I think the problem for Jake Derek Fromm Carr, the is second. I don't think this was ever going to be the showcase for him. You know, what he is, he's a game manager, right? The, the things he does, they're more intangible based. So I think when he came out and threw behind Jacob Eason, that was a tough one. I think when you saw the physical stuff, yeah, you see where I'm going with this. It's going to end up being a stock down for Jake Fromm, I think, right now. And he may settle into potentially even an early day three mode. Now, with Darrington Evans, I'm going to go opposite here. I thought his workout was on the way up. So let's go stock up. He showed his speed. He showed his athleticism. He was smooth in all the drills on the field. And Darrington Evans, for me, is a player, Bucky, who's got the ability to really, uh, I think, play on any down for you if you need. I'm not going to say he's an every down back, but he is kind of a Duke Johnson type of back who's got the wiggle. He's got the ability and space to catch it and make plays happen. And I think that's why everyone loves the wiggle. Up running back right now. Look, man, uh, teams like backs like this that can join parts of. There's a few good running backs, man. At least four or five. Quality, Absolutely. Sure. Now I feel like the Grim Reaper here, but I'm going to go stock down for Lavisca Chenault. And let me let me just give you the reasoning here. He suffered a core muscle injury, and so what we're dealing with here is a surgery that's going to knock him out from four to six weeks. Now, he has had some injury issues uh, in his background, and I think that's something right now where teams are going to say, wait a minute, we need to double-check the medicals on this. We have to go back and see how he handles the surgery, how his body bounces back, and then really start making determinations mm. on his health and on his long-term durability. Very talented player and, and really a physical freak show. But right now, I'd say it's a little bit down for uh, LaVisca Chanel. I'm not going to hire you to be my stock bro, because everything is all negative. I'm trying to make sell, money. I want to win. I want to win. So I'm, a, I'm more of the positive guy. So I'm going to go with Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts had a terrific week. When you think about Jalen Hurts and what he brings to the table, a lot of his behind the scenes, the leadership. The Reminds me of Robert Whitaker, the UFC fighter from Australia. The playoffs. I love that. But what he did here. He threw the ball really well. I have said on record, he kind of reminds me of Dak Prescott. I think more and more teams are going to be begin to see him mm -hmm. in that light. Yeah. Cam Akers. Let's have a look at this. He doesn't get enough credit. He was one of my sleepers coming on into the 40. The That's a 50-yard bomb. Florida State. There's a lot to like about him. And when I talk to running back coaches, they're really, really impressed coming in. I think he continued to wow them with his performance. You just don't see guys who have his kind of skills. Three down running back, put a 4-4-7 up on display. And then when you think about his ability to catch out the backfield, right. there are a lot of teams that are looking for backs that can do a lot of different things. He has a very versatile toolbox that makes him special. Every down size, too. Yep, look, big, physical, good runner inside and out. He is going to be a better pro than college player. Look, I already know how this guy worked out, so I have no yeah. doubt you're buying this stock. I am buying him because coming in, he had a lot of momentum coming from the Senior Bowl. When you watch him in the Senior Bowl, the way he was able to get open, the way he did big things, meaning a big possession receiver, but now we discovered he has a little more juice than we thought. Ran a sub 4 4 40 the ball well. When you began to put all of the pieces of the puzzle together, Big time playmaker, great athlete with explosive. Got some long and arms. He can make plays. Denzel Mims, his stock is definitely up. Oh well, thanks guys. Um, I don't really know if I learned anything there, but that is another video for the channel. <laughs> 
no, in all seriousness, guys, that's, uh, that's it for the combine. That's it. Done. And you know I'd be lying to say I wasn't pleased. So, um, with that being said, guys, we have a lineup of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 videos. And they're all to do with the draft, and they're all in chronological order. So that is my mission for the rest of today, and probably tomorrow, to get through that. I hope you're having a fantastic day, or night, wherever you're tuning in from. And just for the hell of it, why don't you tell us where you're tuning in from, down in the comment section below. City, state, and country. And I'll see you on the next one.